Hello everybody. I recently picked up a mobility scooter and a lot of issues with it. One, the batteries were in really bad shape. Uh, they were almost completely discharged. Well, they were discharged 0.2 volts on each of the two 12 volt batteries. So I would say that's fully discharged. The second problem I had was the speed pot or the speed potentiometer. It's also called the uh, rabbit and tortoise control, which is uh, slow and fast. But the issue was the stop has been broken on this. You see, I can turn this. I can turn this full 360, no stop. And it caused, because in certain positions, it causes the controller to generate a fault. So I've decided to replace this. And I've done a little bit of research online. You can buy the complete whole assembly here for let's call it 20 bucks give or take but I decided that if I could just find the correct potentiometer or pot I could solder a new one on there and keep the old knob and keep the old plug so that's what I've done I've ordered a new potentiometer I don't have it yet but so here are the things to pay attention to one uh, this particular potentiometer is 100 K ohms number two as best I can determine, you want a potentiometer that's rated a half watt. You also want it to be what is known as a linear taper. And a linear taper, I'm just trying to pull the knob off here, sorry. The linear taper is the curve of the resistance as you twist. It's not important. What you need is a linear taper, not to be confused with audio taper or some any other, other forms of taper. And then the last thing you need to pay attention to is the shaft. In this particular case, this is a knurled slotted shaft, aluminum, not to be confused with a plain round shaft or a shaft with a D, or what they call a D shaft, which would mean a round shaft with a flat on it. I wanted to keep the external appearance of this all OEM, so I wanted to use this knob again. And so you can see this knob has will not uh, probably work very well on a plain round shaft or a D shaft. A plain round shaft is going to require a set screw through the side and this knob does not have that provision. So a plain round shaft is not going to work. Uh, you're, and um, I believe that since this was a knurled slotted shaft, I'm going to, the replacement potentiometer I'm using also has a knurled slotted shaft. So uh, I, I tried to avoid the plastic shaft. I, I figure that uh, in this particular application, this knob is going to get a lot of use in some you know, outdoor environment, rugged application, right? These mobility scooters are not um, like sitting at your desk at home. So those are the things to pay attention to. Linear taper, uh, you're going to need a little bit of heat shrink tubing. I would get a aluminum knurled Sha slotted shaft. Next thing I'm going to do is when I get my new potentiometer, I'll try to shoot a little bit of video and showing you how I use this harness again. My new speed potentiometer has finally arrived and there's a close-up look of it. Look at it. As you can see it has eyelet terminals. So this is the original right here. I'm going to uh, finish stripping off the black insulation off the other two terminals, off the other two wires. I'm going to slide new insulation over those three wires and then I'm going to reattach it to this. So you can see again the similarities between the two. Knurled shaft for one is an aluminum, not a solid round shaft, not a plastic shaft, and not a plain round with a D. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, this knob doesn't stop. You can just continuously rotate it. And in certain positions, it throws a fault code. On the scooter, this one, the stop works, and that should be a very simple solution to my problem. I will also point out while I'm in here that the key switch has a tendency to unplug. 
So I'm going to reattach it to the correct position. It's very difficult to see, but it snaps into position. I'm going to hit it with a spot of uh, super glue, and I'm probably also going to uh, put some hot melt around it just to keep it from popping off. It only pops off when I take the control panel off, but I would hate for my mother to be stranded somewhere and not be able to... Sorry about the focus here. I don't seem to be able to get it to focus. But I hate to have her stranded somewhere and not be able to um, use the scooter. There's another view of it. I hope it focuses a little bit better. But there's the switch. It sits on the bottom of the key. So as I say, that's the key switch. popping off when I take the cover off so we're gonna fix that. I've now transplanted the original harness from the original speed pot over to the new speed pot and I'm going to install it now. Well here it is installed works beautifully and it stops so I'm very pleased with it. Well, nothing ever goes exactly according to plan. As it turns out, the stem of the potentiometer that I had was a little bit larger in diameter than the hole that was originally the hole that was originally there. So I had to take a few thousandths off that hole. I just took my pocket knife out, and uh, this is plastic, so I would enlarge the hole a little bit. And I thought it was all done, but there's also a an anti-rotation tang. Uh, or a lock, and I ended up having to put another little hole there. You, yeah, there, now you can see. You see a little hole right there. That's another hole I had to add to put the little anti-rotation tang up through it. You actually can just bend the tang off of your potentiometer because you can put enough torque on the nut and make this speed pot really tight so that it's just not going to rotate out of place. Anyway, I've accomplished my objective here and that is uh, the original pot when I got the scooter didn't stop. Uh, but it used to just continue to rotate all the way around. But it stops now. Works great. So it's 100k ohms, knurled shaft, and you want a linear taper this helped you out any or if you found it very interesting give me a thumbs up thanks for watching take care